Majority Leader Osei Chimen Sabunzu is uh, suggesting a cut in the number of ministers to 19 to help save the public purse. Uh, this, he says, should exclude regional ministers who represent the president in their jurisdictions. Public lecture was on the theme, the constitutional review, the perspective of a legislator. According to the majority leader, at least $50 million is spent on electioneering by a presidential candidate from the party level to the national election. Research by the Center for Democratic Development, premised on the 2020 general elections, estimates about $600,000 is spent by members of parliament to secure their seats. In checking the investments made to win elections, the majority leader in parliament suggests the Westminster system of government, where the prime minister is more accountable. Osei Che Mensa Bonsu cites with a World Bank research, which suggests small unitary countries like Ghana are better served yes, with prime ministers. Chairman. Where we are going as a nation is not sustainable. We are getting on a very slippery road in terms of monetizing our politics, both parliamentary elections and presidential elections. And I think that, as a matter of fact, I, my preference, my personal preference is with the Westminster type where the prime ministers are much more accessible to us. One, and then in terms of expenditures, they spend far, far less in getting themselves elected from the constituencies, right? And that obligation to satisfy sponsors is, is, is much, much less. And with that, we'll be able to deal with corruption. And then again, because the prime minister is a member of parliament, Peer review should tell you that you can't be a prime minister. When I know that before you became a prime minister, you had only one house. And four years after becoming a prime minister, you have ten houses. My friend, where did you get where do you get it from? The member of parliament likens the powers conferred on the president to that of a monarch, since he makes over five thousand appointments to public offices. Mr. Chairman Sabun believes there should be a review in the constitutional provision. Indeed, any president appoints more than 5,000 officers into public office. We are still counting. This certainly, Professor Chairman, is a monarch that the Constitution has created. The rest of us citizens hold him in awe, and even when he strays, it is difficult to talk straight to him. This arrangement needs to be revisited. It cannot be good for our growth. It cannot be good for the growth of democracy. He further proposes ministers who are not part of cabinet should be cut off to save the public purse. Many of our ministers do not add value to our governance. That's the truth. And I'm not here talking about the current MPP administration. I refer to all administrations since 1983. The time has come for us to seriously introspect on this. And hasn't the time come for us to place in the Constitution an upper ceiling on the number of ministers of state that we should have? As I've already stated, cabinet ministers assist the president in the evolution of policies. That is according to Article 76 of the Constitution. All bills and agreements that are presented to Parliament are underpinned by governmental policy and principles, which the cabinet ministers propose to cabinet. So if you are not a cabinet minister, you are not part of the process of the evolution of policy. In concluding his lecture, the legislator said introspection into Ghana's constitution, which has a cumbersome amendment procedure, is long overdue. Nanaya Ochima, Joy News, Kumasi.